the B2B fintech space is really a bit of a blur between big roll-ups and institutions visa the, the slightly more mediocre but very well marketed propositions. So I think some of the greatest challenges is being able to bridge that gap between scale and innovation. Um, and again, coming back to this, I think that's why the exciting, really exciting guys who are building their own direct-to-market propositions to leverage and test and prove their revenue models are actually 10 times more exciting for the banks. So that also skips the need to go into what, what we see as a bit of um, sort of the, the, the circle of death within fintech, which is ending up in innovation or acceleration driven programs, which actually don't have results driven outcomes and lead to enterprise sales. And so by, by testing and proving your model directly in the market, you forgo the need to come in and do a proof of concept or something like that. And actually you can get straight into delivering outcomes that are enterprise grade and have uh, quite significant returns on equity for the bank. Good question. Uh, I, I think they're certainly proving their business model before they're actually deploying the technology. So the way I would see it is if I was uh, a buyer on the procurement side, the greatest question you ever get asked is, you know, why can I trust your technology? Why can I trust your platform? And with them being able to turn around and say, actually, I've already got a consumer proposition or, a, or a, a, an institutional proposition with tens of, if not hundreds of thousands of users, that's, that's pretty ballsy to stand behind. And obviously a good little money spinner to keep the lights on while you're developing and packaging the software. Yeah. No, no, absolutely not, no. I, I, but I think there is a risk and, a, and sort of a saturation point because it's almost keeping up with the Joneses, you know, you know, Tom, Dick and Harry down the road are running 30 POCs. God, we've got to run 30 POCs and you just sort of end up with a bit of a, a broad brush approach. And actually it's less about what's the outcome that we're trying to achieve here, both from the technologist side and the bank side and making sure that there's actually a clear project and deliverables around that. And I think that's in all the excitement of innovating, we often forget that it really needs to be tied back into the end customer, the shareholder return or whatever the, uh, the target is.